our gearing can be used to enhance returns. Unlike most other types of funds, investment trusts can borrow money, either through bank loans, overdrafts, or long-term debt, such as private placement notes, to fund the purchase of assets. This facility, called gearing, enables the manager to enhance capital returns in a rising market and generate extra income over the medium to longer term, as long as those returns are greater than the cost of borrowing. It also helps the manager to act tactically in the shorter term, utilizing gearing quickly to take advantage of specific investment opportunities as they arise. Investors need to be mindful, however, that gearing also increases volatility, and therefore any movement in the underlying assets' values are magnified. Whilst returns are enhanced when markets rise, gearing exacerbates losses when investments fall in value. All other things being equal, the more highly geared the trust, the riskier it is. Consider an example. A trust with net assets of £100 million and a bank loan of £20 million has gross assets of £120 million. If the value of the assets rises by 10%, the new gross asset value will be £132 million. However, assuming the bank loan is unchanged, the new net asset value is £112 million. Whereas, without the gearing, the net asset value would only have risen to £110 million. There are two key forms of gearing. Structural gearing, which relates to bank facilities and other conventional forms of borrowing. And synthetic gearing, which is achieved through the use of sophisticated financial instruments such as futures, options or contracts for difference, or CFDs and can often represent a very flexible and low-cost way to provide leverage. Not all investment trusts take advantage of gearing, but an example of one that does within the Janus Henderson range would be the Henderson High Income Trust. The trust has an active policy of using appropriate and prudent levels of gearing in order to enhance the returns for shareholders. In particular, generating extra income, but also capital growth over the medium to long term. For example, Henderson High Income, an equity and fixed income vehicle, reduced its level of gearing amidst the turmoil of Q1 2020 in order to lower its borrowings, given the highly uncertain environment, principally by selling low-yielding US investment-grade bonds. As the outlook became clearer post the news of the development of a number of highly effective vaccines in Q4 2020, the trust utilized more gearing to increase its exposure to equities. Go to our Insights Hub for more expertise, research and commentary. And for a full list of terms, please see our glossary.